Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World for another episode of Chellington Valley. I have been up and at it since bright and early this morning. Ooh, yeah. Like I said, even though yesterday was Sunday, <laughs> well, no rest for the wicked. No rest whatsoever. In fact, interesting. Oh, <laughs> uh, in fact, of course, yesterday afternoon, I did get my grass mode, got the grass mode, finished all that up, ended up with 14 bales, got those over to the biogas plant last night, just before they closed up shop, and now I have got this bad boy, check that out. I told you the weak link in my operation was the mower at the moment. Well, that problem has been solved. I've also picked up a little bit of other equipment as well. This is my second trip back from the shop this morning. On top of knocking out a couple of fertilizer jobs for uh, for some farmers. Yeah, been doing a lot this morning. And of course, Nigel is going to show up today. I uh, told him to stop in around 9 o'clock. So hopefully that will sort itself out. And I'm just going to try to get him to start some work on his own because I want to take a little bit of a trip today. I'm not going to give away where I'm going just yet, but I think it's rather important. And, uh, well, something I've kind of been putting off. Maybe I've been avoiding it. Maybe that's it. Maybe I've just been avoiding it. Anyway, it'll get itself sorted out. I'll just swing this in right about here. Shut her down. Look at that. That's going to be a mower. That's going to help us mow three times faster. Now oh, I forgot to turn off my uh, beacon. Oops. Now I did pick up a handy dandy little uh, sprayer. I hadn't gotten around to washing the truck yet. I don't know that it's going to do a lot. It really needs a paint job, but at least I can knock some of this field dirt off of it. A little bit, anyway. Yeah, that's a little better. That's a little bit better. Okay. Now, what have we got here? Well, we have a sprayer. I have noticed that uh, there are some weed control jobs popping up every now and then and I've been missing out on those because I don't have a sprayer. Now I could borrow the equipment. Sure I can. That's not really the issue though. The issue is losing that money. And to be fair, I've been keeping myself plenty busy with what I do have. Um, oh, <laughs> wrong tool. So I've got one little job that I need to get taken care of. Hopefully it's not far from here. So with a little bit of luck I can get this knocked out before Nigel shows up. And if not, I'm sure he'll wait on me to get back. And this is what always happens here. <laughs> this always happens. The uh, uh, the yard turns into a mess the minute work starts. I, I worked hard to get all this put away. Like I said, I was going to probably just have Nigel sort of square it up, and then I was like, well, he wouldn't know where everything needs to go anyway, so... Yeah, one little tiny fertilizer job. That I, I need to uh, take care of this morning. Get back here. Send Nigel on his way. Hopefully. I mean, all he has to do is start mowing, so that shouldn't be too big of a challenge, right? Right. All right, let me take care of this real quick. Well, that takes care of that. I'm not too late getting back here. Oh, it looks like Nigel has, uh, has arrived. Very good, very good. At least he knows how to be timely, right? Right. So let me see if I can get him sorted out. 
and then I've got a couple other very quick jobs. They're going to be very, very quick jobs, so I can, well, I hope he can uh, he can sort all of this out today. Now Julie has the day off, Sundays and Mondays. Saturdays are big days for us, but Sundays and Mondays should be just fine. So with a little bit of luck, Nigel will be a Julie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll have everything sorted. Keep your fingers crossed. I know mine are, and I'm taking this extra herbicide with me. Because you never know when you might need it. All right. Hey, Nigel, how's it going, man? Good to have you. So what I need to do, you know your way around the valley, right? Okay, good. You know Field 53 right in front of the castle just down here? I need you to jump on that tractor with that mower back there and uh, run over there and start mowing the grass. We're going to get it mowed, windrowed, uh, yeah, baled, and then we need to wrap it in silage bales and then deliver those bales. So if you can get started mowing, I've got a couple jobs I have to do. And... Um, I've got to take a little trip, and then I'll be back to help you out, but at least get started on the mowing. All right? Perfect. Thanks, man. See you in a bit. Okay, hopefully that's got him sorted out. And I am off to find my fields. I've got two of them. Two to spray for weeds. And you know, the money's coming in so well. Well, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking ahead now. Not just about Harv's helping hands. But about Harv's farm itself. We'll talk about that in a minute. Alright, well, if you didn't notice, I bought this handy-dandy sprayer. And it looks like it's going to do exactly what I needed to do. Check that out. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Now, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. So, it looks like I've got plenty of work. I could keep Nigel and Julie busy as much as I want to, really. That shouldn't be a problem, which means the money's going to keep coming in. And I keep making excuses for not buying a full-blown field and getting this farm up and running. Not excuses. I mean, they are logical arguments, but still, the issue really becomes, do I buy the equipment first, do I buy the land first? There's no sense in having the land sitting there if there's no equipment to work it. But there's no sense, no sense having equipment sitting there if there's no land to work it on. Although, technically, I could put it to work working for farmers around the valley. But I think I'm going to buy the land first. If nothing else, and I'm not saying I'm going to do this because, frankly, just like you, I'm a little bit sick of grass, too. <laughs> I'll be honest. Which is a good thing that I've got some uh, people working for Harv's Helping Hands at this point. They need the money. They need the work. And uh, I need some people to work so much of the grass around Shellington. But I think in order to break that monotony up just a little bit, I might introduce some subscriber contracts where you would tell me what type of contract you would like me to do and what my payment's going to be for that contract. Now, keep in mind, this will probably have to wait until I have the field and the equipment, but definitely something that would help break up what goes on in Chellington with so much grass, but I can still keep making my money on the grass, especially with Julia and Nigel out there working. We'll see. We'll see. At least I can pick up the occasional spraying contract now. And that's going to help out quite a bit, I think. And these are, these are good-sized contracts, so... We'll see. We'll see how it all sorts itself out. 
but I think this new little sprayer is going to work like a charm. It already is, actually. But that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you know, you don't need equipment that takes 10,000 horsepower and is five miles wide to get the job done. You know what I'm saying. Anyhow, I'm going to knock out this contract. I'm going to knock out the second one. We're going to check in on Nigel, see how he's getting on, and I'm going to take a little trip. See you in a little bit. Spraying is done and luckily my last job was right over here by the castle so it'll be nice and easy to go check in on old Nigel and see exactly how he's doing. Because field 53 is just right here. It's been a good hour and a half, two hours. And <clears throat> what what the heck is this boy doing? What's he been doing for two hours? There's barely anything mowed here. Where is that boy? Um, are you seeing what I'm seeing? He, he barely has that tractor running at an idle. What the heck is going on here? Hey, dude, what's taking so long? This field should have been mowed by now. Well, I can appreciate that you want to take your time and do a good job, but daylight's wasted, man. You you can't be doing it this slow. You've got to get you've got to get mowing faster. All right, all right. Well, speed it up, buddy. Come on, man. I I need this job. I need this work done. People are counting on me.
Hmm. And there he sits. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let me get back up to the farm. Well, now I have to be concerned about Nigel. I'm not sure. Not terribly sure what to, what to make of that situation. That field easily should have been mowed by... Am I being unreasonable? I don't think I'm being unreasonable. Am I spoiled by having a hard, earnest worker like Julie? Maybe. No, I'm not. And Nigel assured me that he could handle this equipment, that he had some experience, and that he was good to go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is there's something I... Do I have to get done today? No, but I want to get it done today. I need to get it done today. I mean, I just said I don't have to, but... In my mind, I'm feeling a sense of urgency <laughs> to take this little trip and see exactly what, uh, well, what I can find out. A little bit of an exploratory mission, if you will. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Yep. I always want to blow right past the, you know, I'll be honest with you, I can't quite get used to all these hedgerows because they block turns. I should probably slow down through Carlton here. Well, this is going to be a good bit of a drive. I'm not entirely sure just how much of a drive because I haven't made it before, but... Oh, we're just about there now. It's been about... I don't know, half hour drive or so to get up here. But I wanted to come back and see. Like I said, maybe I've just been putting this off. Maybe I've just been avoiding it. I don't know. I've been staying awfully busy, though, to be fair. I've been very, very busy. But I wanted to come back and talk to these folks and see if they know anything that will help me out. Because I, I still... I'm not remembering anything. So I'm going to run in, talk to whoever I can, and see what I can find out. Well, they didn't offer much help. Not much help at all, really. I mean, they pretty much told me what I already knew. When I came in after a severe car accident, I was here for a long time. I mean, Granted, I was here for a long time, so anything they could have told me, I'm sure they would have told me at that time. But that's not really the point, is it? I just wanted to see if there was anything additional they could uh, fill me in on. And not really. Not really at all. But, I did find out that my car was towed away and it's in a junkyard up here so I'm gonna run up there I'm just gonna check out the car a little bit see if that sparks any memories at all because I mean it was completely totaled it's it's smashed beyond repair from what I'm told so let me go track this sucker down well from the directions I got it should be just up here Yep, that looks like a junkyard to me. Hmm. Actually, looks like they specialize in scrap metal anyway. Oh, here we go. Hmm. 
I don't even remember this car. something. Oh man, my head is spinning. Oh. There's something there. Oop. There's something there. I don't know what, but there's something there. Well. I don't know. This might have just been a wasted trip. Looks like I've come into a dead end down here. Anyway, I'd better get back and check on Nigel. See if he's gotten anything done on that field. Oh, it's so strange. Alright, well, let me get back down to Chellington and uh, get back to work. Well, that feels like a little bit of a wasted trip. I don't know, maybe. Maybe something will come of it. There was, there was definitely something happening there. I, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Although, man, right now, Driving through all these trees, I'm getting the strangest feeling of deja vu. The strangest feeling, like I've, I've been, I've driven through a lot of trees, I've been in a forest somewhere. Ugh, I don't know, I can't sort it out right now. I need to get over to field 53 and check on Nigel. I probably should have just stopped over there, but... I figured I could at least just grab the... Uh, the rake. Get it over there. Since it's close, I'm not going to worry too much about shipping all of this equipment in one fell swoop, even though I do have some stuff on that trailer that I'll probably just end up using, but I'm I'm actually concerned at this point that he's not got this rake over there and is raking already. Good God, he hasn't done much more than what is this kid doing? What is he doing? Nigel, why isn't this field mowed? It's 1.30. Yeah, that's right. It's been four and a half bloody hours. You know what? You know what? Go home. Go home. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk about it. But these people count on me to get their work done and I can't just sit here fooling around. I mean seriously, what else was I supposed to do? I mean, look at this. This this thing will haul the mail and he's still not done. And he's talking about taking his time and doing a good job. Look at that. You know, you just have to wonder sometimes. You really just have to wonder sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. Should I just let him go? Should I just let him go? Maybe, I mean, okay. So, maybe I've taken too much for granted. And I got used to Julie. And the fact that she can just come out here and seemingly do the same job I can in the same fashion that I can, I don't know. 
All I know now is it's late in the afternoon. Time is wasting. And to be fair, I'm a little bit agitated by what's, you know, maybe I shouldn't have taken that trip today. It is a little bit troubling. It's frustrating not being able to remember. And then you have these little hints of things that start coming back at you, but you can't make head nor tail of them. It's very frustrating. And then, then you come back to this. I mean, a job that should have been done hours ago isn't even close to being done. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know at this point is I have got a lot of work to do. I could probably call Julie, pay her some overtime, but I'm not going to do that because the girl works hard and she deserves her time off. And it's not like I haven't put in long days before. I mean, that's part of being the boss. It is part of being the boss, so I'll deal. On the plus side, I've got 54,000 pounds after the contracts that I've worked. I even picked up some new equipment. I've got the new sprayer. I've got this, this new mower that was supposed to make this job go so much faster. And it does when you actually do the job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um... This job should pay, uh, I'm expecting, at least another 10,000 quid off this job. I should be able to get that without too much trouble. The landowner is paying about 7,500. And then you know we've always got some leftovers. Can you know, I... I, I, I you know, I, I, maybe I take it for granted now, but I do count on the leftovers. They bring in a good chunk of the money that I make. Anyhow, I will get the job done. It'll be done. No harm, no foul, at least not to the landowner. And I'll have to sort out Nigel. Maybe there's something else I can have him do. Maybe big equipment just isn't his forte. Or, you know, maybe... Maybe I put him with Julie and, and you know... Um, just let her coach him along. You know what I mean. If he can... Or if she can coach him... On the equipment... And that kind of thing maybe he'll kind of uh, get the picture we'll see he really he really kind of missed the edges here too so I have got my hands full here by the castle very full. I'll get her done. I'll get her done. Get Julie to come in tomorrow. Get a lot more work done and start making some more headway or making headway into uh, getting my own farm squared away. That's really the ultimate goal, right? Harv's helping hands is a means to an end, although a very lucrative one, mind you. Can't complain about the money that it brings in. But at some point, Harv's helping hands needs to start managing itself. If Julie keeps working out, she could work herself into a, like a supervisory type position where she's doing all this legwork and then I can focus on working my farm. 
But I think that's going to do it for this episode of Shellington Valley. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. I very much appreciate you coming along for the ride. And until next time, take care.